Today, I'm going to show you how to create a private podcast feed for your organization, your team, your company, and we can do all of this within Transistor. So here is a list of my other shows. Uh, these happen to be public shows, but today we're going to do something different. We're going to go to the My Shows tab, click Add a New Show, and in this case, we're not importing an existing show. We're going to create a new show. And in this one, I'm going to call it Weekly Message from the President. Okay, and so in the description field, I'll say a message for all of our regional staff from the CEO, Amanda Hunter. All right, so we've already got the basics done here. Uh, another thing we would want to do is add a image. There we go. And again, this is going to be primarily for internal use, so it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but a nice photo of, in this case, the president will do. Uh, now, we don't actually need these categories uh, for a private podcast. Feel free to choose them if you want. Um, they might be helpful as metadata inside some podcast apps. Name of the show show's creator. So in this case, we have a fictional company called Coffee... Co. Inc. And uh, we're going to make this copyright by 2019, Coffee Co. Inc. If we want, we could add a website, which again might show up in certain uh, podcast players. And these right here are typically used if you submit to a, a public directory like iTunes. It's still okay to put in some information here. So I'm going to go Amanda at Coffee Co. All right. Create my show. Now that the show is created, we're going to go back into show settings. And now you'll see we have some advanced settings here. And we're going to check this one here. Make this show's RSS feed private and password protected. And our description of a, a private podcast feed is something that is not discoverable on the public web uh, unless you knew the URL itself. So you can't submit these to uh, the Apple Podcast directory. Um, they're not auto-discoverable. Now, if someone finds the URL, they will be able to access the show, but uh, the idea is to make it harder for folks on the public internet to find the show. So... We've marked that there, and we are going to now click Save. All right. Now, if we go back to the dashboard here, the next thing we need to do is add our first episode. I'm going to do that now. Introduction. I'm going to publish this today. I'm going to choose the audio, which was previously recorded. Now, I'm going to add just a brief description of this episode. In this episode, Amanda introduces the staff podcast. So just very brief one line. Uh, this is season one, episode one. And we can make this a full episode. It could be a trailer, so a, a short promotional piece of content that represents a preview of a show. And then a bonus episode, so extra content. Uh, in most cases, you'll just have a full show. And then down here, we have a lot more room if you had, you know, uh, paragraphs of text and maybe links, important links, right? We could have uh, link one, link two, and I'll just link these to, in this case, uh, Google, and in this case to Bing. Um, you could also have important dates, right? You could list those. So, February 10th, we have our all hands meeting. Uh, in March 23rd, we will have the company retreat podcast at coffee.co. All right, so now I'm going to create this episode. And now that we've published an episode, if we go back to our dashboard, 
we'll see things have changed here. And now this button here has appeared, private RSS feed. And let me explain this to you here. Here is the actual RSS feed. This is similar to what you would have if the show is public. But here we have the username and the password. And right now, there's only one username and password for the entire feed. But this is what folks are going to copy and paste into their podcast player. So let me show you how that works. So for example, if I was going to write an email to all of the staff introducing the new company podcast, I would have a template something like this, you know, uh, here is the RSS feed you'll need for our company's private podcast. I'm going to go, I'm going to copy this, I'm going to paste it into here, and then I'm going to give them instructions. Please copy that feed URL and follow the steps. In iTunes, open iTunes, select podcast from the drop down menu, go to the file menu and select subscribe to podcast. So let me show you what that looks like. Here is the iTunes desktop app. Over on the left hand side, I'm going to choose podcasts. And here's a list of all the shows I'm subscribed to. Uh, I'm going to go to the file menu and then I'm going to go subscribe to podcast and then I'll paste in that private podcast feed. And if I click OK, here we have the weekly message from the president. Our photo showed up there. And then we have the first episode. I can click play. Hey. And then we have the, the audio play. So this is uh, a great way to communicate with your team, with your employees, with your stakeholders. And again, there's some security in there because it's not discoverable on the web. You need that URL with the username and password. So now let me show you how your employees or team members would add this private podcast feed to their podcast player on their phone, which is where most folks will be listening. So I just got that email that we sent. So I'm going to click through on that. And here's the RSS feed you'll need for our company's private podcast. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to copy. And now I'm going to go into my podcast player. Uh, in my case, it is Overcast. I'm going to click this plus icon. And then on the upper right hand side, it says add URL. I'm going to click that. You'll see it's auto pasted that, um, that URL, our private podcast feed URL. So I'm just going to click this. And now if I go into my episodes, I will find that episode is downloading right here. Introduction, weekly message from the president. You'll notice there's also a lock icon here to indicate that this is a private podcast feed. And sometimes it takes a little while for that cover art to show up, but you can see now it showed up. We have the summary there at the top, and then the show notes, important links like we mentioned, important dates. All right. So let me show you what this looks like inside the Apple Podcast app. I'm going to load that up, and you'll see your library here. Uh, you can click on that in the bottom. And then we're going to click Edit. Add podcast by URL. We're going to paste in that private URL. And now we are subscribed. We can go back. And here is the weekly message from the president. Now there's one listening app that will not work, and that is Spotify. You cannot add private podcast feeds inside of Spotify right now. Uh, but every other major podcast player, uh, whether you're using Castro or Pocket Casts, it all works the same way. I can load it up, click Discover in the Search tab. I'll paste in that private URL. Search for it. It's going to appear here. Again, sometimes it takes the show art a little while to download, but I can click Subscribe. And now I am subscribed to the private podcast. So I hope that's helpful for you. We have people using this in all sorts of ways. Some people use it to keep in contact with their sales team. Some folks have a private leadership podcast for their leadership team. Uh, another interesting use is authors are using it as a way of uh, giving their readers an audiobook along with the purchase of the ebook or the physical copy. Folks can subscribe to a private podcast feed and have the book read to them. So all sorts of uses for this. We can't wait to see how you use it. 
You can sign up for an account by going to transistor.fm. <laughs>